welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today's video is all about the land where everything is a pound, well, nearly everything. I have a big pound land haul for you today and then at the end of this video I'm also going to be showing you some DIYs autumn themed, Halloween themed, some things that I picked up and I'm going to DIY later on so stay tuned to the end of this video if you want to see those little DIYs. As always with my Poundland hauls I have purchased a little Poundland scratch card so again stay tuned for the very end of this video where I'm going to be scratching off and see if I'm a lucky winner. Before I jump into this massive unboxing of five big bags full of things from Poundland. I did get a little bit of vlog footage in store, so if you haven't already, make sure you pause this video, go grab yourselves a nice cozy warm drink, get comfy, get the candles lit, and let's get into the vlog section of this video, and then I will see you guys in a moment to haul everything. Is this a new flavor of Twin Peaks? I've never heard of Caramel Crunch. I've heard the Honeycomb Crisp one, and then obviously white, dark, fruit and nut milk. But this one, I've never heard of before. They have a couple of autumnal jumpers in here. It even says at the top, check check me out, I'm new. Um, to be honest with you, I don't really rate the quality of Pap & Co. That looks cozy though. But you see, eight pounds. I just feel like you can get something similar in Primark. That's quite nice though, that kind of tigress dress. The staple joggers are quite good though at five pounds and they've got loads of different colours. I've had the men's one, in fact I've still got the, the men's one in like a sand colour and I love them, they're so comfy. Basic beige fleece, how much is this? Five pounds and then these like teddy ones as well, very autumnal shades, love this colour. Some pretty autumnal colours in the faux flower section. I've actually never seen these ones before, that's a really pretty like blush pink and I feel like these are quite autumnal. Oh look, they've got these feathers as well, they're quite nice aren't they? They're different. They also have these new in which are like a mocha kind of colour throw and also I love these three wick candles, pomegranate's my favourite scent. Very Jo Malone inspired. I've never seen these gift sets but I think they're quite a nice idea to get re-diffuser and a couple of matching candles. Oh my god, how yum does that sound? Salted caramel flavour frosting. They also have vanilla and chocolate. I've never seen these before, but I love iced coffee. And these are caramel flavoured, so you just add milk and ice, and you've got yourself nice coffee. Okay, best aisle yet, seasonal. We even have Christmas over this side, but we'll save that for a later date. Let's see what Halloween bits they have. They have these light up pumpkins. I had this last year, in fact I think I've still got that one, but this one cracked so I might get another one and I'm thinking about painting it white. I've actually bought quite a lot of skulls from Home Sense already but if I hadn't, this is, um, I mean this is a pound, forget the hands, I'm, I'm sure there's some kind of use for them. But take off that little spike there, even paint it white maybe and have it as like an ornament. Don't really need this yet but might come back for this. It's a pumpkin carving kit which I think is a handy thing to have in for when it does get to Halloween time. This is quite a nice idea to have like autumn time. The little fairy lights that light up in a jar. Quite like that they're gold as well. They have loads of new stationery in. I feel like if rose gold is a colour that you go for, or like a blush pink, then they have so many things. They have 19 to 20 diaries. These pens are cute. Little wicker hearts. They're actually in the wedding section. No idea what I would use them for, but I just think they're so pretty. I'm dodging that biscuit section before I buy everything. <laughs> I actually don't need any food, so I think I am done. Although these do sound pretty good. Peanut butter popcorn bars. <gasps> and they're only 90 calories each. I think they are pretty small, these, but that's not bad. I think if this guy wasn't in blue, I'd probably get that for in the garden. I think that's quite cute. But yeah, the blue's putting me off. Okay, there's gonna be no method to this madness in terms of when I unbox things in order or anything like that. If you're a bit like, oh, that's a bit strange that she's picked up a purple doorstop, this 
hopefully by the end of this video should be a nice pumpkin, not purple either. So this is, oh, this is the first item, which is not my style whatsoever. Like I said, stay tuned to the end of this video and find out what I'm gonna be doing with this. I also picked up some potpourri, of which they had a couple of varieties. I think they had like a vanilla one, and then they had this one, which is frankincense scented, and it's called Winter Wonderland. So the silver parts I'm gonna be taking out, the rest of it, love. Love the little hessian and the wooden acorns and everything that's in here, so love the look of it. It also smells amazing. There is a little hole at the bottom which I had a quick sniff of in store and I preferred this scent over the frankincense one anyways. No, over the vanilla one anyway, so I picked this one up. I picked up another cooking lighter. I use these to go around and light all my candles and I like them a lot. I, I like them every day. Pretty boring, but I picked up some sticky tape. These are nice and thick, so I use these for packing if I ever sell anything on Depop or eBay. I've actually hauled this before in the past, and this is going to be one of my little DIYs for the end of this video. And then I also picked up this square one, which has like a double glass frame, which you can put something, like sandwich something in between the middle. Again, a little boring, but these also may or may not, I'm not sure yet, come in handy for the DIY section. They are the wet or dry sanding blocks to smooth it out. That's what they're called and that's what they do. Okay, although I'm not like super, super crafty, I do like to do it a little bit and I found these 15 blank cards with envelopes and I have a little card drawer upstairs in my bedroom whereby whenever I'm out and about and I spot a really beautiful card whether it be a birthday, thank you, well wishes, whatever it may be, I pick it up when I see it and put it away for the one and eventual day that I might need it. So I like to store up and keep lots of really, really beautiful cards so I don't feel pressured when it does come round to a celebration or whatever to have to just buy whichever card I can find. I already know that I've got plenty to choose from. So these are gonna go in that and I figured when and if I have an occasion that I want to do a little crafty DIY with, I picked up this little stamp set which has every letter of the alphabet obviously and then it also has a black ink pad that you can kind of personalize and I came across a channel recently whereby she does her organization and draws out her planner and diary and you kind of plan and organize with her and she uses these stamps in her journal and in her diary and I just thought it looked so aesthetically pleasing that I picked them up myself. Okay last item on the first bag and this again is a DIY project for the end of this video, which you'll never guess what it turns into. But currently it is just a soap dispenser in this cream kind of marl pattern. It's kind of speckled, I'd say. These come with matching soap dishes and toothbrush holders, but for this project, I'm just gonna keep it plain and simple and show you guys what I do with this at the end of the video. Okay, moving on to the next bag now, and the first thing that I pulled out is this bubble wrap. Again, this is gonna be used at the end of this video. I also picked up something which is a little premature of me, and something that I just kind of saw on a whim and thought, I'm just, just gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy it and put it away. And it is, lens sip but the reason why I picked up this lens sip is towards the winter months I do tend to get a bit sniffly and instead of the stereotypical blackcurrant or lemon flavour I spotted a new flavour so as and when I do get a cold you know I've never wished a cold upon myself but at least now I know that when I next do have one I'm gonna have apple and cinnamon I mean, it's lemsip. How yummy can lemsip really be? But the fact that it's apple and cinnamon and around winter time is when you usually get colds. I'm gonna put this away in our little medicinal cabinet and who knows, actually enjoy a lemsip one day. I saw this and had to pick it up for the aesthetic, mainly. Firstly, the aesthetic. And then secondly, for the actual scent, it is a Febreze Air Mist in this limited edition bottle in vanilla latte, which first of all, that scent is just incredible. But how pretty is this beige and brown packaging? It's very autumnal. Sneak peek to an autumnal house 
speed clean video which is coming very soon. Another product for the autumnal speed clean and one that I just needed another one of is this fairy washing up liquid and I got it in citrus grove. Again this orange is very autumnal. I like to go seasonal with my cleaning products even Zaflora. You wait until you see which Zafloras I'm going to be using in that speed clean video. I actually can't wait to clean. <laughs> Next up is a very random purchase and I do remember having one of these once but I never use it. It's one of these things that make you have a bigger bun. These are going to be at the end of this video hopefully transformed into little mini pumpkins. So I picked up one, two, three, four tea towels. Is that it? Or did I get any more? I think that's it. And these again are going to be used as part of the DIYs so stay tuned for that as is this little cooking liner. All of these products, I might not use all of them, but they're all variations of what I'm going to be making. A little boring but staple purchase that I always get from Poundland is the Nivea Cool Kick 48 hour deodorant. Me and Tom actually share this, so we go through these pretty quickly. I picked up a candle. When is it ever a Freya haul without a candle? And this one actually smells pretty decent. It's in Current and Oakwood which obviously the panel tools, I feel like everywhere is duping Jo Malone now and the it's just the aesthetics of Jo Malone, it's so simple, minimal, timeless, classic and very easy to replicate. So Current and Oakwood I thought is a nice seasonal scent so I'm going to get burning this ASAP. Something which I purchased in a previous Poundland haul but I wanted to show you for the DIY is this little glue gun, you get little glue sticks with it but you can also add by additional so you never have to repurchase the glue gun so this may be being featured at the end of this video and I just wanted to mention that it is from Poundland. As are these previous purchases from Poundland they are just different spray paints I've got a couple of gold ones there a black and a white so if you see these featured at the end of this video they are all from Poundland. So that I'd avoid making a mess I picked up this white clean table cover cloth which for only a pound is just an easy simple solution to make sure you don't get paint everywhere because these are huge. So I usually, if it's dry, will paint outside and just pop this down like in our garden and use it. So yeah, I, it's always handy to have these if you are painting. Speaking of painting, picked up these set of three paint brushes for the DIYs along with this liquid gloss brilliant white paint. I don't actually know if I'm going to use this. I might use the spray paint over this but picked it up anyway. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. The pink stuff in the spray bottle, the Miracle Multipurpose Cleaner. I've seen quite a few people use this. I feel like Mrs. Hinch is to blame. New hype, new product, and I can't wait to use this. I might use this in my Autumn Speed Clean because I'm so excited to try it. Actually, I've just realized it might be cheaper in B&M and Home Bargains. Maybe I should check that one. Let me know if you guys know if you can get this cheaper. But obviously from Poundland, it is one pound. Pumpkin! The most autumnal seasonal thing yet of this haul probably because you've yet to see the DIYs is this cute little jack-o'-lantern. I actually had this one last year and it smashed. So I got a new one for this year and I'm going to be painting it white or black. No, white I think I'm going to do. Again, for the DIY in terms of making little pumpkins, I got this hessian bag which is actually for storing your vegetables in. It's got a little toggle here. It's a cute bag in itself until you flip it round and I'm not really a fan of that colour pattern. So it would have been better if it was just plain. I suppose you could turn it inside out. Oh no, it's... No, it's not hessian on the inside. Okay, forget that. But either way, this is the portion that I'm probably going to be using so if you do need to use hessian then they do have these hessian bags however I also bought from the range a massive it's like a tarpaul type thing which you're meant to put on your stairs to protect them when you're painting so it's massive but it's hessian so I picked that up for 5 dollars which allows me plenty of hessian material to make my little DIYs with and uh, yeah just a little tip there if you did want to go big and make a lot check out that at the range that it's in like the DIY section. I also picked up these set of three preserve jars but I'm not going to be using them for preserve. I'm probably going to be putting candles in them, painting them, <coughs> DIYing them later and I've always seen these in Poundland but they've always had a red lid. However, recently I spotted them with a gold lid, which is far more my style. Another cute little thing I picked up from the, the kids section is this chalkboard. 
I will be using this for the DIY section of this video, but it's definitely something much like a letterboard or pegboard is used for that you could use multi-purpose, switch out every season and put little different messages on there. Quite like the idea of when you walk into the house, you have the Wi-Fi password is and then written. So if you have any guests, they know what the Wi-Fi password is. These two may be a little DIY together at some point. This is actually a fish bowl for making drinks with from Poundland. But I also picked up this LED pillar candle. It's one of these flickering things you just put a couple of batteries in. I've got a couple of plaques like the um, chalkboard. It might be quite a nice idea to DIY and personalize these placards plaques, whatever you want to call them, with the little hanging hessian rope. Now, they are meant to be like this. This one was a pound. This one was actually reduced to 50p. It's seasonal for summer, the barbecue. But obviously, you can peel this bit off. It's just a sticker. I mean, that's going to be a nightmare to get off. So all I'm going to do is switch out the hessian to hang from the other side and use that as a blank canvas. I also picked up these cute little light up pumpkins of which I'm not gonna be using them with the light up feature. Oh my God, glitter is getting everywhere. I will be DIYing these and hopefully transforming these to fit my style and my home decor. Just beware of the glitter. I picked up this Kilner jar. I love Kilner jars. I think they're so farmhouse kind of style and you can use these obviously as their intended purpose is for maybe an iced coffee with some squirty cream, gingerbread latte, pumpkin spice latte. But I also thought you could use this as a jar and maybe put like a little floral arrangement, maybe some baby's breath in there. Oh, another paint that I picked up on this trip was this quick drying paint in a matte finish in desert sand because I thought this could be quite a nice contrast to the white. Um, I also think that is quite a nice colour for the pumpkins. I'm having a bit of a mismatch of both. Did you just see a sneak peek to my next item? I did so well to avoid all the food section until it got to the Lotus Biscoff spread. If ever you've had Lotus Biscoff biscuits, usually served with a coffee when you go to the hairdressers. Oh my God, you need to try the spread. I was gonna smell it, but there's a little thing on there, never mind. Shall we do some Halloween baking in one of my weekly vlogs? We'll see but this is incredible. Okay, a previous purchase from Poundland included these two photo frames and prints actually. These are all from Poundland, but I thought I was gonna switch up these because they're a little more summery and make them a bit more autumnal. Oh yeah, I forgot I have this. So I've actually used this already once, but it is a little wax melt burner. You pop a little tea light in the back there and then put your wax melt on the top of which I picked up this pack of Yankee Candle banana bread. Oh my God, these smell so good. They have loads of different scents, but this one, banana bread, is like perfect for this kind of season. So I picked up that. I also picked up a variety of different like string and materials that can be used. This one's quite nice, it's like a hessian twine type one um, that can be used in the DIY section at the end of this video. I love the colour of this one as well. Again, that rich, creamy, pumpkin kind of colour. And then I also picked up again for materials for the DIY pumpkins, these leather chamois, are they called chamois? Uh, the little leather cloths that you can use to clean your car, these are in the like car, there's always there's a car section isn't there in Poundland, I usually bypass it, but I thought this material, especially with the little patchwork square design, could be a really cute farmhouse style uh, finish on one of the pumpkins or maybe two of the pumpkins, we'll see how I go with them. I also picked up this basket, they had smaller ones available at Pound, but these ones were £2, they were like back to school or back to university sections which had loads of different things in of which this was one of them so again two pounds for a little wire storage basket they had different colors as well if black isn't your style and I thought this could be quite nice maybe the smaller one would have been better for this but to have a little display of some pumpkins real pumpkins when they do eventually come out in store I know our local store last year had miniature pumpkins it had white pumpkins all different colors and I thought a whole variety, maybe one big orange one, a couple of different ones on top, could look really cute. I always check out the book section in Poundland because you never know what you might come across. And I found this matte black 
coffee table style book which is the Pixie Woos book which is called Face so it has loads of different tips and tricks on makeup application and everything like that but to be honest with you I'm just going to take off this section here and have the book just sat I think it would go well with my Chanel book let's see how much it retails for RRP 20 quid and I got it for one. I also picked up two more books and this is actually the last item that I'm going to show you for now before moving on to the DIY section. They are so irrelevant to me. The actual story and book itself is... I'm not going to read them. But what I am going to use them for is part of the DIY. I know you're thinking, how the hell can you DIY a book? Just wait and see. <sighs> my coffee do you like my little Starbucks mug I got this last year from TK Maxx or HomeSense I think it was only a couple of pounds and it's got an embossed Starbucks logo on it so I thought it was really cute nice little size for a latte anyway moving on to the DIY section to this video now let me know if you want any more of these type of videos and once we have finished with the DIYs make sure you wait until afterwards to see if I've won anything on the scratch card so now we get into the Poundland Autumnal Home Decor DIY section to this video so I'm going to start with a very simple one and this is going to be the DIY of the books. So as you can tell, I've lit my Poundland candle and basically what I'm doing is just inverting the paper sort of sleeve to the books so that they are all white. Then taking this yarn and sort of tying a little bow. I have added a sprig of eucalyptus just so you can see what it looks like with some kind of plant or greenery, um, which I just think adds a nice touch. And then moving on to my little potpourri bowl. I'm just removing the labels, adding the batteries to the LED candle. I would recommend using an LED candle over a real one here because you've got the potpourri in there and it's obviously in a plastic bowl so you just want to avoid any fire hazards there. And this is the finished result for that one. I did think you could add some twine as well maybe. Um, but moving on now to the next one, I'm taking this purple doorstop and this is the Hessian fabric that I was talking about that I got from the range for $5.99. There's literally so much fabric there. So I'm just arranging it into somewhat of a shape of a pumpkin and hot gluing the sort of edges or the seams, the folds, I suppose you could say, um, just to make it ever so slightly more pumpkin-like. I did tie a little bow with string, but I ended up going back later on and wrapping some twine around to create somewhat of a stalk effect. So moving on to possibly the easiest DIY and it's simply to remove the label and the little pump for the hand soap and add some baby's breath or gypsophilia. That is as simple as this one gets. It's very urban, very anthropology inspired. In fact, more so urban outfits as I feel this one. So nice and simple. I love the color of this. This beige is so nice with the other pots there in the background as well. Okay, moving on to the card DIY now. There are 15 in a pack, which I think is very generous. You can do this for any occasion, Valentine's, Christmas, or in this case, Halloween. And I've just taken these stamps and created a little Halloween message um, and also stuck down a Polaroid just with some masking tape, but you could glue it, I suppose. I just didn't want to ruin the Polaroid. So on this one, I have written Happy Halloween Boo as in B-O-O, -O. do you get it? <laughs> I found that on Pinterest, but there were loads of other um, messages that you could um, write as well. So I love those little stamp sets. Now, this next one that we're moving on to is where the painting begins. And I took this paint, which ended up being really quite thin and pretty useless to be honest with you. So what I did end up going back in with was the spray paint later on, which was just so much easier. So you could definitely avoid that step and just go straight to the 
the spray paint. So moving on now to the glitter, I'm just showing you here a little demo of what the lights look like. You're really not missing anything by not using that function. I've taken off the little stalks just to spray them separately, but that wasn't really um, essential. This I have sprayed the orange one white and the black one the sand kind of color. But to be honest with you, I ended up covering them, but you could leave them just like that. But moving on to the fabric pumpkins now using the little donuts. I started with the hessian of the back of the vegetable bag. You feed it through the middle of the donut and kind of arrange it until you're happy with the shape of it. You can also hot glue gun it down if you want to. And then taking a twig just from the garden, pop it in and you've got a stalk and I love this little hessian one. I think it's probably one of my favorites. But I also did one with a fabric tea towel, as you can see. I just cut some pieces of string here as well, just to accentuate the folds of the pumpkin. And you can do this with all of them, just some of them. I mix and matched it, so I did some with and some without this string addition, just so that they all sort of vary in look. And it leaves you with a nice, true pumpkin shape and again just taking a little stick from the garden popped it in there to create a stalk now back to the kilner jar now now that it is fully spray painted white i took this twine string and wrapped it around and around and tied it in a little bow and just positioned it so that the bow was at the front and again added some gypsophilia to create a nice little floral arrangement suitable for this time of the year but obviously this can be all year round as well so the bigger pumpkin that i created was from this bubble wrap which i got from poundland obviously and i just kind of sorted it into the shape of a ball and then took that hessian fabric that I got from the range again and just kind of created the folds of the pumpkin again with this uh, yarn. Again, stuck a stick in for the stalk and there you have a beautiful hessian pumpkin. And then moving on to again a very, very simple DIY, simply reversed the little picture cards that it came with and used my Dymo label printer which you can pick up on Amazon. I got mine from Class Olsen but I do believe they are online at Amazon. And I just printed out trick or treat, stuck them onto the little paper things but you could always just do different messages or even photo Polaroids for all year round and switch this out seasonally. I just think it's so affordable at one pound. And there we have all the finished DIYs. If you want any more of these videos, do let me know. I also found this trick or treat, which I designed on the chalkboard on Pinterest. There are loads of different designs that you can take inspiration from. This is the finished result of all the different sized pumpkins. I absolutely love how they all turned out and I'll definitely be creating more for my autumn home tour. Okay, so I didn't have a coin to hand, so I'm just gonna go with the end of a spoon. So find a money, a stack of money to win. No win, next game. Match three prizes to win. So let's see if I do it. I've actually never won on the Poundland scratch cards. Right, so I'm on to the last number to scratch out. I've got two tens, two twenties, and two one thousands. So I need one of them to win something. A five. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thumbs up if you did. Stay tuned for my autumn speed clean coming very soon. And then I'm gonna decorate, go all out for autumn this year and do a full on autumn home tour if you guys want that. So do let me know in the comments below if that's something that you'd be interested in watching. I'll also leave my Instagram fashion and my Instagram home account down below where I'll definitely be doing some snaps and updates over on my home account when it's all autumnal and seasonal and I cannot wait to get some content for that Instagram so if you want to follow me on there it's Freya Farrington Home and my fashion one is Freya Farrington One. I'll leave both links below. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. I have five huge bags to unbag. Amber. Oh. <laughs> so if you, so before I jump into the vlog section, I, so before I show you and that's it. <laughs> Where is it? Ah, why am I late? Yeah, I 
I picked this one up for just a pound, obviously, from Poundland. The pink stuff, Miracle, but, huh? Miracle, uh, this is the new, the, actually, I've just realized, can this, is, does this come cheaper in B&M on, on, uh, on this metal, metal? fabric, metal material, metal. <laughs> but I will be DIYing these and hopefully transforming, ooh, and hopefully try as a little vase and maybe put some baby's breath in there. Breath? <laughs> and maybe even tie some, uh, what's it called? But if ever you've had Lotus Biscuit, uh, and, uh, knitting, what's this called? Rope? No. Thread? Do this. If ever you have 